What is going on, everybody? We are back on Attack on Titan Season 4, Part 2, Episode 5. Wildness that was last episode. The last two episodes, I think, just... I don't know how you don't have them in your top 10 all-time Attack on Titan episodes. I can make an argument for top 5, top 3. Regardless, they've just been great. Got the crazy action one, the crazy just reveal of this time loop paradox if you're interested in a deep dive and all that stuff um of course if you're a monger you already know what is and what isn't but we did i'll put the thing you know the thing on the youtube where a video suggestion will come out here i'll put one there we put like a 40 minute video up on saturday kind of trying to explain from an anime only perspective of how i grasped the whole aaron time traveling but he's not really time traveling but still looping paradoxing what came first the chicken or the egg did Aaron go through all this and then get to the end point or was he always at the end point but it just looks like it was always meant to happen so then drives the bigger question was it just is what Aaron's doing is everything that everybody's doing just destiny fate there is no freedom everything was meant to happen Aaron's always going to be a slave to something regardless no matter what he tries to do um, which is really ironic if you really think about it. Like, he's so far, like, I'll take everyone's freedom if it means getting my freedom. But when you really scale and look back even further, is he even free if he's just stuck in this? And then the question that I kind of have before we dive into this, how does he break out of that? I know kind of the explanation of, like, the Attack on Titan timeline is more of, like, in a circle, not a stream. Um, Especially given what we got last episode. So then how does one break that loop and then kind of break it off to not just can because you're just in this constant you know kid Aaron gets it gets to the end point but then everything's gotta ha I have absolutely no idea there's smarter people out there than me that can try to explain it and then how I think the only hang-up I had last episode was how um Galliard was able to see was it he saw his brother's memories or he saw Reiner's memories of his brother and regardless, why was Aaron able to allow that to happen? And then, do we technically have two people with the coordinate? Because Zeke has stated to Aaron, you know, I have the royal blood, I have the coordinate, I can do my plan whenever I want. Has that been taken from Aaron and given to Zeke? Do they both have some form of it? Regardless, I have no idea. Grisha told us only Aaron gets what he wants from here on out. Uh, Zeke, Wonder Boy, the Chosen One, please save us. <laughs> we are presently on the episode right now. Everybody will see this Sunday. Highlight reaction, YouTube, full-length reaction, Patreon, all will be up today. Neither one of them really have fighting experience, though, if we're being serious about it. Oh god, it wasn't even close, was it? It wasn't close at all. Good god. And Aaron's so fucked, only showing his dad. Yeah. Carla, which we know she's not. Even at this moment, she's dead. At this moment. It's too late, though. It's too late, Grisha. Like, shit you either did. And then it drives to the fact that, like, the stuff that Grisha did pre-getting the Attack Titan, was that even him? Or was Aaron manipulating that as well? Is I mean, I know, has Aaron seen? I don't know what he's he's seen and hasn't seen. Is this going to happen, or? I don't know what's going to happen, because he knows, but does he know? Yeah, he only saw pieces. Yeah. Because future Aaron wouldn't have sent him all the memories either. We talked about... Good God! I haven't seen this much emotion out of Aaron in I don't even know how long. Chain him again. I haven't seen that much emotion out of that man and I don't even know how long. Opening? 
All right, good, 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 because I needed a second to just breathe. I kind of talked about that um, in my video. Even though future Aaron, and you know, he said he saw it four years ago, hand-selected memories to give to Grisha. He also did the same to Aaron, though. Like Zeke said right there, you didn't get all the memories because you didn't know that you couldn't use the founding or the coordinate in this place. The same way I don't think Aaron sent himself, you know, in the roundabout way that he got future memories to his father to then see his future. I don't think that Aaron sent in the loop, hey, if you do this, Sasha dies. I don't think he got that memory. Hey, if you do this, Marley ends up coming and invades the homeland. Um, Zeke ends up roaring and we end up losing a bunch of people. I don't think, I'm trying not to look at this. I don't think Aaron got those memories because it almost kind of makes you hesitate to do it. If you know consequences, the same way Grisha was like, I never knew it would have been this bad. That's why I'm always curious. Like, it seems like everyone's predestined here because Grisha said he never knew it was going to be this terrible. If he knew, well, that's why Aaron didn't show him everything, I guess, up front. If he knew that from you 2,000 years ago, oh, Lord, it's going to get that serious. If Grisha knew how terrible it was going to be, maybe Grisha doesn't even go to try to take the coordinate at all. He's like, no way. What, what the future holds is terrible. I'm not going to be involved in that and just walks away. How do you predict what Grisha would... I don't know. But it's like it's almost like everybody was on their path destined to do what they were going to do. So... They're not showing anybody's eyes in any flashback of Ymir's. But then it's like, we need backstory on this. On this devil just hanging out in the bottom of this tree type shit. Oh, shit. It, like, fused with her spinal cord. It almost looked like a rogue spinal cord. Holy shit. And she still went back to them after the fact. <laughs> As a reward, I'll get you pregnant. And back then, they didn't have shit to answer that. They barely have shit to keep up with the Titans now. She's just... Wiping fields. But it's not like they weren't at war. It's just... Wait, did she spit out eight kids? Like, she's helping them build these, like, mountains and everything. Oh my gosh, she's just spitting out kids on top of kids on top of kids. You gonna try to kill Ymir? Yeah. Or the king, which one? Did she block it? Do you know that? Does she know that? I don't know if anybody knows. What the hell? Huh? She did die from that. She did die. The name of the walls. Wow. And they, f she died from that spear. Oh wow, and it got split off into three different paths there. So it was just one, and then the three daughters got split. They feasted on their dead mom's corpse. And this is how we get to where we are, but how did we I'm so curious is like what what was Ymir able to do in her titan form did she have the abilities of all of them how did like everybody become to be you know armored colossal a female attack like where did those like branches of specific titans come from I don't know she was a slave in her real life and she's a slave in her past life 
As soon as Zeke said... As soon as Zeke said she's a slave... I knew that there was going to be a way that Aaron broke her free from those quote-unquote shackles of being a slave. Oh god, her eyes. We actually see her eyes. Oh god. Those 2,000 years of pain she's been dealing with. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, so now we're back IRL. Here comes the rumble, boys. Get ready. It was fun while it lasted. Two minutes left. What the hell is that? What is that? What am I looking at? That shit's bigger than Armin. Now Armin's not so special with hundreds of him walking around. Yeah, so what do you think happened when they came from those walls? He released all of them. He gave up, like, and you figured those... He's gonna crush the entire world. Oh! Oh! He's talking to everybody? Every single Eld... <laughs> He's gonna kill everybody. <laughs> I don't even know. Where to start. Uh, or where to even begin. I don't... What's wild is like... The thing that stands out because it was most recent, it just kind of like Armin said. Why did he need so many Colossals if he was just going to take out Marley? But we kind of knew, like, I don't think it stops there. He's going to take out the entire world. Pretty much, if you don't reside on that island, you are, in Aaron's eyes, you need to die if you don't live on that island. Um, and if you're not an LD and living on the, the main continent. My question is, what uh What damage did those Colossal Titans do to the to the island between like the different sets of walls though? Because he there's people living and there's things in there. I don't know if, if he like they're huge. They can't just like twinkle toe around houses and <laughs> city districts. Did he just level his own people? Some of them? I it's actually wild. Seeing him connect to them is really insane. Um, so what was it that kind of, I guess, kind of the biggest question, what was that that took over Ymir that came in contact with her? Um, I'm trying to go back to it. She, yeah, so right here. Again, I don't know... Yeah, so this here, is it from another world? Like, where is she? Is she just in the bottom of a tree in some water? Has she slipped to... Uh, I don't know. This is probably the most WTF question mark moment of the entire episode of, like, what is this here? Some parasite sitting at the bottom of a water that would have attached to anything? Like... If a a dog accidentally slipped down there, or anybody, or was it always again? We talk about like destiny and loops and paradox. Was it predestined for like Ymir was going to come in contact with this? I don't know. And this is what Aaron looks to have turned into, um, at the end of the episode. Yeah, so it's just like hanging out in water. Was it just waiting for any kind of like actual host? And then it just fuses with her spinal cord. And she turns into this titan with just, like, ribs. And But her titan didn't look to be anything special as far as, like, oh, it's just as big as Armin, but also has Reiner's uh, 
uh, armored ability, but also can use the Warhammer, because I guess I was expecting... Yeah, because it has, like, all the... I guess when I was expecting to... When we would actually see, like, what Ymir's actual Titan look like, it was going to be some kind of, like, combination of every Titan we've seen all... Just, you know, super mega... <laughs> super mega Titan just all fused into this one. The size of Armin, the body of uh, Reiner, you know, the quickness of the jaw, just, like, all this kind of wide... Just this overarching being... Um. And then another question was like, well, how did they, how do you kill her? How did she die? I mean, I don't, was it like a, she only got eight years of it type thing? Like, where did that come? There's, there's all these specifics that we've learned throughout, like learning about Titans that like when it got to seeing hers, I was curious how those things came to be. Where did the eight year time limit come from on the, on the shifters? Or I think it's eight, I don't know, eight, ten, somewhere around that. You know, where did the time limit come for shifters? Why, how did we break down into these subsets of armored, colossal, attack, female, jaw, cart, warhammer? It's just so wild, like, how they came to be from her. Is it if you ate spe specific parts of her body, that's what they came out to be? Um, but then we didn't only eat from her, though. Um... Because she only had three kids, and like she had eight or seven or whatever the number is. Then the kids after that, you know, we didn't get all the the, the versions we see now. We only got three. And then we had a versions break from them to you know everything the two thousand years that we've seen now. Those are just wild questions that clearly didn't get answered here. I don't know if they're going to get answered. What the hell was that that took over her body or fused with her spinal cord? Just some kind of parasite hanging out in a puddle of water. I don't know when she slipped into that tree, like, where did she actually slip into? Uh, I don't know. And it was wild to see, like, she was that initial path. And then when her three daughters, like, after she died and the three daughters took over, you saw it, like, split into three. And then you see, like, everything there. Um, I thought that was... And then the... The daughters' names of the... <laughs> the names of the, um... The three walls on the island. Absolutely insane. So there's a lot of specific questions to Ymir that I don't know if ever get answered. Um, if you're a manga reader and they just straight up don't get answered, feel free to just let me know, like, we don't know what specific abilities Ymir's Titan had. There's no information on how we got the versions of the shifters that we did that, I don't know if it's hinted at, like, maybe if you ate... If you ate her spine, you know, that's how you became the Colossal. Maybe if it was, like, hands or feet for quickness or whatever, you turned into the jaw. Like, I don't I don't know how we... But then where the hell does the Warhammer... Who knows? I don't know the specifics on that. All that Ymir specifics, you know, we'll leave that over there. You guys, if you have information on that. If it's going to come up, you know, we'll just wait to see what happens with that. Um, It was wild to see Aaron rip himself from those chains. But it almost kind of like Zeke, it really didn't matter. Um... But Aaron said that Ymir led him there, um, almost as if she wanted this to end, she wanted to be free. It was so wild to me, because I thought when she turned into a titan, like right here in the beginning, she was going to go back and slap the shit out of, you know, that king or that ruler that, you know, had her hunted down like a dog, um... But no, she goes back and just continues her duties and continues being a slave and now fights and is basically winning him war, winning him lands, winning him generational rule. Um, absolutely wild. Uh, so, I mean, so there was truth, but it wasn't like she was just invading lands and killing them in the middle of the night like they were at war it's not my fault that my side had a weapon that you weren't able to deal with we are at war um i mean nobody was expecting that <laughs> i mean it'd be like going back to the civil war and you know my side happens to have a bunch of <laughs> bombers uh actual airplanes that can fly around and shit it's not my fault we happen to have that and you don't but like it's so vastly <laughs> uneven but i mean it's war what do you want to do? We can't help that that, you know, that's how that happened. 
the fact that she went back to him, continued to work for a slave, as a slave, let her ass get pregnant by him multiple times is just wild. I mean, she was just stuck in that. I thought she was going to go back in vengeance and somehow she was just going to have this, like, bloody, gory death or some. But no, she just... She dedicated her life to, like, fighting for him, protecting him, birthing children for him, and then she gave her life for him. I didn't think she was going to die of that spear either, but, like, what is she... It's not so nuanced like they know now, like what you can do with Titans and transferring your consciousness and healing and doing X, Y, and Z. She got taken out by the spear, and then they butchered her body up and fed it to her children. Oh, God. Then her children became Titans, and then they did the same thing. They, I think they fed themselves to those children, and it just kept going, and now we kind of get to where we have now everything with the spinal cord, spinal fluid. You know, it doesn't have to be as grotesque as, like, consuming the whole body um, to turn one into, but... Well, I guess it still does, because but you need to be a regular Titan, you gotta eat the entire... It's a wild mess. So much Ymir questions. But when Zeke made the statement a couple episodes ago, I kind of knew, like, I was like, shit. I love Zeke, but I think we lost on that line there where he said, um, Ymir's a slave. She follows people of royal blood. I was like, yeah, 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 it sounds good. And in my head, I was like, fuck. Aaron's... Aaron's... I mean, he's made to... <laughs> to liberate people he's going to like free her or find some way for her to side with him i really thought she was going to like continue that plan we had not seen that much emotion out of that man and honestly i don't think i've seen that much emotion out of aaron since what was it he couldn't protect hannes trying to turn himself into a titan just biting himself over and over and over I think that was the last time I saw like that much like raw emotion out of that man. Sh trying to see where it is, see if I can find it here. Like I've never seen that much just raw. We haven't heard I mean voice actor killing that shit again. Snapped his own damn hands, dislocated, broken. Oh, God. Thumb ripped clean off. Um, But, like, it's almost... I knew Ymir was going to break free and help Eren. But the more Zeke talked about it, I'm like, well, wait a second. Maybe she can't. <laughs> He's like, she must obey. She only... Once she's been set on a path, she can't stop it. Um... And all that wildness. Um, so he executes the rumble. We finally get... We finally, finally... Essentially, two seasons. We finally get... The goal... And what Aaron wants. Let's hear it one more time. He's talking to every... Eldian, by the way. Not just his comrades. Not just people on the island. I think he's talking to people... Eldians worldwide. <sighs> I want to see what he said about his goal again. I've undone the hardening of walls. And then... It was the... Original founding... The king... He had the ability to turn his subjects into colossal titans. I think that's correct. Like, not without the... He didn't need syringes or eating the other colossal titans. He just had that ability. So I'm under the impression, like... Well, can I just turn subjects of Ymir into anything I want? If I want an army of... Jaw titans running around, can I just snap my fingers and it be done like when the king originally did this and made all those because he had could he had just had a stockpile of uh armored titans back here as well a stockpile of warhammers i don't i would think i don't know why that would wouldn't be possible and he's undone that like those colossals aren't nimble on their they're not dodging things i think they're just walking through uh I think he's destroying his own island, like, people within the walls, as they march. Uh, my goal. Finally, we hear what he wants. 
is to protect the people of the island, the place I was born. However, the world wants to exterminate my people. They will not stop until every last subject of your mirror is dead. His story is like, what's new? <laughs> She's just hanging out. The wall titans will trample every inch of the world beyond this island. <laughs> That shot is like, I don't, because I don't even know if that's just a representation of him in the coordinate in the real world. We've never seen anything animated like this in this show. We'll travel every inch of the world beyond this island. Until every last life beyond our shores is wiped out. And he said that at the end of season three when they all finally make it to the sea and they're splashing each other having you know ha 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 fun times he's over there because he's already seen it um looking across he's already seen the trample in the rumble and he makes the comment you know what is it to be free and he looks back and points he's like if we go over there and kill every person over there Will we then be free? And I feel like now that we kind of see, you know, selective memories have been sent. Had he had seen the rumbling and maybe hadn't seen past that point. So when he makes the comment, when he's looking back and crying at his friends, like, is he just, I don't even know if he's crying in representation of like speaking it to them i think he's just crying in representation of like he knows that that's what's coming and i'm wondering if he's emotional and crying because he knows that's what's coming but does that this what is going to happen is so terrible like his father says like it's just so terrible and i think aaron at that moment at the end of season three also agrees like, like this is just terrible that this is what it has to be going over there and killing all of them is making him so emotional. But again, he still doesn't know. Does that make us free? I don't know. Because freedom is now being just so interpreted in many different ways now. Because I don't even know if Aaron's free. Because when does this... Like, this is a loop. So how does the loop get broken? So is it just going to be a world full of Eldians? That's it? Do we go and, like, inhabit those lands? Where do you put all these Colossal Titans when you're done? I mean, I'm sure he might have an ability. I, I don't even know what he's able to do and not do. I'm sure he can just poof gone, make it be what he wants to be. Um, So then we saw... Was Ymir connecting to him through the paths? When she essentially brought him back to life? If we can go back and look at that, like we see it sprout. And honestly, that Colossal Titan look, I think those Colossal Titans look so much better than what Armin and Beartholt have been running around as. Yeah, we just see it like this creepy ass shit. Here. It sprouts from him. So what is this? Is this like, is this the Corden? Is like, is this it here? giving itself to Aaron or her, Ymir giving herself to Aaron making him conscious again because he's dead the man is dead or about to be dead in the next point two seconds and so he has him connecting with Zeke and like Zeke are you just dead bro uh, sadly I think he's just dead so much for Levi like just killing him I think he's just dead <laughs> so I have absolutely no idea this has already turned into like a 45 50 minute full length reaction um there's a lot of, like, WTF moments of, like, Aaron, what the hell have you done? Because even Armin's like, I don't want this type shit. They were already appalled at him for what he did uh, in Marley, you know. Like, you mur like you kill people, innocent people, families, children. Like, you don't come back from that shit. Like, Aaron, what have you done? And he's just like, you think this is bad? 
<laughs> just wait, because I got some shit coming. Um, so the question then becomes, because now it's it's been set up and kind of how Grisha said at the end of last episode, you know, stop, stop Aaron, stop Aaron. It's almost become, it's not almost, I've seen a couple of reactors and other people talk on it like, Aaron now is the villain of the story. He's fighting for something, yes, but like, what are you going to have to do to reach that goal makes you the villain of the story. Because I think if you just walked up to the shores, uh, but then like, that's not freedom either. Cause you never know when they're going to like come over there, but I'm trying to think what could be the, because I, I understand Aaron as far as like, well, what's the alternative? They're not going to reason with us because, you know, everything we've done in the past, you know, they, they, they think X, Y, and Z, whether it's true or not, you're not going to change the thoughts of the entire world, number one. Number two, what he did in front of the world powers is never going to be forgotten or changed. So there's no, like, sitting down or reasoning with them, but, like, if I showed up at the shores, if I just surrounded the world and armor and colossal titans and said you know Eldians are going to live over here at any second I will trample the world we're going to take all the Eldians with us and go but then like is that ever P I mean it's an agreement but it's ah, I don't know the question becomes what's the alternative but like you, you've seen this in other like animes and stuff before where like the bad guy or the villain has like a worthy goal or a dream and they tried to achieve it one way, and it didn't work. So as bad and as much as a bad guy and a villain as I look trying to achieve my goal, I'm still doing this for a greater noble purpose. But it's like, what's left of... If this is what it takes to achieve it... The same. I mean, it's essentially what Grisha said. Uh... You know, I'm all for Grisha, you know, I'm all for Eldia being restored and, you know, oh man, I really got to slaughter these kids and get this coordinate because he showed me, but oh, is this really what I have to do? But he does it anyway. But then when he finally sees what his choices are going to turn into actions of errands, he said, this is not even, this is not worth it. This is not, I think he, in that instant moment where he's talking to Zeke, he regrets what he just did in there. Again, he did that. Aaron, you know, pushed him uh, mentally. But I think in that moment, if, Z if if he would have known, I mean, we said it, you know, he wanted, Grisha said, uh, you know, stop Aaron. He can't get, you know, he's only going to get what he wants. I never imagined it would be this bad. I think if he had a choice going back, he wouldn't have proceeded that. But again, was it predestined? Was Grisha always going to do that? Who knows? But he stopped. But it's It's just a lot. A lot of wildness going on. A lot of it Ymir related. Um, and then him speaking to the fact of like, oh, you led me here, right? You wanted me to come here? She dies. Like, actually just straight up dies. Oh, and then I had a couple of you... Trying to explain. So she... is responsible for turning the shapeshifters to and from Titan form. Because we see kind of like the, the Titans here. I, someone, I had a lot of, a couple of you try to explain this. Every time a shifter changes, She's actually doing that for them here, which takes forever. Um, but it, it happens in an instant outside. Does she have to mold their Titan bodies for them? Or just their normal bodies? Does she do both? Because, I mean, to just do that for 2000... I mean, of course you would just become... And why did she feel like... I don't like. Did it? Ha did she have to do that? Did that have to be done by her, or would it just have happened? I don't know. There's so much to Ymir's story that I just need to like deep dive in and look to of 
Like, she was over there, like, putting Zeke back together and doing that crazy shit. Every time somebody wants to turn into a Colossal Titan, does she have to then, out of sand, make a Colossal Titan, like, to its actual specs? I mean, Jesus, that would take forever. I mean, she's been there for 2,000 years, but every time they sprout up, she's like, oh, shit, I gotta go do this again? I mean, she's a slave, just kind of wrapped into it was actually wild. And then the entire flashback, the entire time they show us her, no eyes, no eyes. I actually wanted to see her kind of shrug Aaron off a little bit more. I mean, we know she was eventually going to defect to his side, but he just hit her with the, like, you have a choice, you're not a slave, you're a person, you can decide what you want to do. And she, I think it's just the frustration of everything being built up of shit. You know. I've been doing this for so damn long. You're telling me I can choose, but it took one person to like, it's just wild. One person to flip that from her. Do you want to stay here for an eternity or should I end this? Zeke should have ran his ass over there. He was, and that's another thing about Zeke, but I mean, we don't know. Aaron doesn't know. Zeke doesn't know. We all don't know. <laughs> like, Zeke was so confident. Like, you can't stop her. Go for it. You're missing a thumb and shit. Go try to stop her. Zeke should have been hauling ass, tackling Aaron while he was trying to get his ass over there. You led me here. You've been waiting this whole time. Whoop, accidentally made that full screen. Waiting 2,000 years there for someone. And they finally show us her face. And she's just over it. Absolutely over it. Absolutely over it. And like, what happens from here? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and end that there. Um... There's a lot to unpack here. These last three episodes have been... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not saying you have to, lack, you have to like Attack on Titan, because there's other very, very popular shows out there, anime and non-anime related, that people love, swear by, that I... You couldn't pay me to rewatch, you know? Um, but... <laughs> if I know a lot of people that dipped off on Attack on Titan 2. Um, that, you know, they watched it and then, like, that was it. But these last three episodes, I'm not trying to fanboy or do anything wild, but these have been some of the best cluster of Attack on Titan episodes, number one, of all time of Attack on Titan, and some of the best anime episodes all time right here. Just for everything that's... For everything that's come to this point. Yeah, there's been some wild, you know, series and animes of crazy fights or wars or exams or tournaments that have gone on. It's like, alright, cool, we're in a tournament. But the build-up of the, like, the, the peak of the story of Attack on Titan right now across these last three episodes has just cultivated into just wildness. Absolute wildness. So kind of the biggest questions that I'd love to go back and forth with you guys in the comment section of just kind of that Ymir stuff of, did her Titan have any special abilities? How did we get these, like, subset other Titans from her one? Um, and how? Because it was always, you know, the devil of all Earth gave her this ability. And maybe it still is. Uh, but I think, like, the flashbacks with Ymir, like, I think we're going to be done with that. I think, like, we got it for that episode, and I think it's done. So, like, I think from here... I don't know if we're going to get more explanation from Ymir. Is she going to speak? Like, I don't know what this is here. And this is, like, what took over her body. Just something of the Earth. If anybody went to there, they would have... I have absolutely no idea. And what the hell, Aaron? <laughs> is this kind of, like, the goal? Like, you get very strong, like, uh... Madara vibes as far as like, dang, you talk about like a like a goal, but man, is what we're doing to achieve it really? Is that really the only way? The question is, how can it be stopped? 
How can, how can this be stopped? Unless the only, I mean, unless we pull like the mm, talk of friendship. Uh, I don't know if the other Eldians are going to be able to communicate with Aaron in that, or if he just is communicating to them. But if his brother and Ymir and Armin and Mikasa and everyone's pleading to him, like, yes, you know, we're grateful for you. We want our freedom, but like, not like this. This doesn't make us any better than them. Because there's just, he's not going to trample the world. I don't think. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on he does or doesn't, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We've been talking for an hour. We'll just leave it there. I appreciate everybody. Attack on Titan greatness. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know. Do what you want. <laughs> like your favorite, subscribe. Any interaction of a like or a comment is always appreciated. And as always...